Hi. Hello, 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 hello. How y'all doing? Oh, I don't look that bad. I look all right. Okay. Now, the basil plant. Now, you would have saw the basil plant uh, full, but I had some little technical difficulties. You know how that is. I'm having a technical difficulty right now with my dress. I'm, I don't kind of, okay. Well, yeah, I squeezed into it. Okay, okay. All right, so let's start over. This plant is supposed to be this plant. But as you see, it is not purple. Except for, as you can see, the tops. And I'm trying to figure out why, 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 why isn't it turn? I would love for it to be, all the leaves to be purple. I don't know, I don't know, but I have a, a lot of them and I've harvested. Messed up on that, but this is. Another little nice little pouch. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to, excuse me, I am going to, um, I'm going to do the seasoning with it, or I'm going to try to do an infused oil. I have, uh, cannon jars, big and small. You know, I have, I have ability to, 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 to do it. I'm still watching everybody else on YouTube doing how they do it before I attempt to go try this. But I know there's an infused basil, there's a salt basil, and you can also just make plain dry basil seasoning. So I want to try all three of those. And I will do that. And uh, what I'm going to do, let's see, I'll just, uh, I'll let you see. All of these basils were pretty, pretty full. I didn't want to cut, chop the tops. I didn't chop the tops. I just took the leaves off, the bigger leaves off of them. There's one right there. I'm getting ready to do that one too. And, you know, I want that one to go ahead and flower and stuff. And then I have all of these on the floor in my apartment do you see my pepper plant just dropped all its leaves and just i don't know what to do i could have cried but 911 911 and 911 couldn't help it then here goes the other one here and i watered it and threw it under some light i don't know maybe it got too cold in here from the ac that's a possibility that that's ha that that happened. Maybe it was too cold because of the AC, and maybe that's I don't know. But I'm not worried about it because I got a whole bunch of seeds, more seeds, and I am going to start this basil over. I have Baker Creeks. And you know I had to start out with ba Baker Creek because everybody rant and rave about Baker Creek. So I bought all my seeds for Baker Creek. Got a lime. And I will be planting these again because my, my whole thing was to try and start a basil, um, like a basil thing, you know? And um, because basil is, is expensive in the stores. So I figured I'd just get a variety of basils, try and learn how to do them, how to grow them. And so I was so excited. American seed. But they germinate, though. And then we already seen that one. So I got like eight different basils so far. I'm not done. I'm going to buy some more. So what I did was I went on and I harvested some basil. And I said, well, let me go try it out. I don't, I don't, you know, I don't. I don't mind. So I walked around a couple of places. A couple of places was closed. <laughs> and excuse me, my um, 
area is predominantly Puerto Rican. I guess they're Puerto Rican. Spanish speaking Puerto Rican, they got more little uh, uh, eateries and everything. You know, I love their food. I really do. But I do have I do have to realize that they do not cook with basil. Cilantro at the wazoo, most likely. Okay, but they don't cook with basil. Okay, so you know, I tried it. No, 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 no. Okay, that's fine. So then what I did was I went to the pizzeria. That's where I went next, to the to, to the place where they do pizza where well, they were closed. Oh well, fine, they're closed. I'll catch them another day. But then I went over to a, uh, to a restaurant. And I said, well, you know, I'll go in and ask. Do y'all cook with basil? Oh, the cook's not here. I don't know. Da, 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 da. You know, and they carried on with me. I, I don't want to go into the full conversation. But the, but, but, but the, but the, uh, the wrap-up is, is that you treat me like I'm a drug addict. I'm not a drug addict. Okay. Don't let the red eyes fool you. Don't let the... I got vision problems. I'm on medication. It's a whole bunch of stuff. But if I wanted to smoke some weed, if I wanted to smoke some marijuana, it is legal here. I can do that. But I am not a drug addict. But, of course, that's how, you know, that's how I was treated. I'm, I don't care because, you know, I have prime... I have I have prime product. I'm not worried about you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to the Italian area and see if the Italian want some basil. And they might because this is expensive. It, I went to the store to try and get it. It's just, it's expensive. So that's what I'm going to do. What I want to do is move on because I don't want to have y'all on here too long, but y'all got to excuse me because you know I'm new with this. I um, want to show you my little sea hole from Homestead Heart. My first seed hole. Wait a minute. My first seed hole. My first seed hole was in March, and I mean, I love, I love, I love this, you know, because number one, Homestead Heart is not expensive. They're not expensive, not at all. And then I believe for the amount of money that I spent, I got a good amount of seeds. You know I had to get this. I'm about to buy another one of those. Yeah. Yes, I did. Yep. I got that red acre cabbage. And, Lord, I, I wish I could grow this stuff in the house, but I can't. But it's okay. I'm already addicted to buying seeds. I'm already addicted to the homestead in life. This is what I want to do. I already named my place the apartment stead because I had always felt like I was going to be stuck inside this apartment. So I was going to figure out how to do it in here. And I'm still going to figure out how to do it in here. I thought I was going to be able to make it on down to Georgia. Back to Georgia. I know I stayed there for 15 years. This was my second one, my second seed haul from them. I got them sugar pumpkin. I just want to try these. I, every time she see, say it, I want to try it. I got Mr. Hart's jalapenos. I can't wait because I like it hot too. My green arrow peas. Love peas. The salad mix is something I want to try in the house, but I'm scared. I'm scared because my lettuce keeps dying. I don't know why it keeps dying. Got a Mr. Stripey. I got a Roman tomato. I love tomatoes. I got a Kellogg's breakfast. I got a Kellogg's breakfast. Sit up, right? Why, why is my head tilting up? Y'all tell me what I'm doing wrong. And then I got the golden acre cabbage. And, and Homestead Heart will be getting another order from me. 
And I'm hoping some things that I wasn't able to get will be there. I'm hoping. With that. And I just figured, let me show y'all what I... I'm going to show you how much I dreamed. Okay? I got the backwards, back, backyard harvest 50 container gardening book. Don't ask me how I got this book. I don't know. Just, just, just doing something. I got that. I was ordering all type of seed books. I'm ordering all type of seed books. These people are expensive, but I want to try their seeds. Johnny's is expensive out this catalog, but I want to try his seeds. And I tore up this seed exchange book because I stayed in this one. I'm definitely buying out of that. I don't know about them. <sighs> I'm looking and looking and we'll see. We'll see, but ta-da, make a creep. And because I wanted to do quail really bad, and this is before I knew about my shire, I got the Murray's, Murray McMurray, and just was wanted every darn chicken and goose and you name it out here. I just, I don't I done spent about a thousand dollars in this book. I ain't got a dime, but I almost did it. And then, because I'm still interested in livestock, what I did was I got, I also got Premier One. And let me tell you something, Premier One. They, they, they got, they got the stuff going on here. Yes. Yep. So, um, I was, I'm already for a homestead. I promise you I'm already for a homestead. And I just ain't got no way to get it done right now. But you know what? I know that the gods, the earth, and the universe is going to work with me because I always work with them. Now, y'all, y'all, please let me know how I did on this video. I, I'm not... I can't edit. I don't know how to do none of that stuff now, right now. But I'm going to learn. I'm going to try and learn. Is my dress on backwards? Why am I feeling tight? Okay, so, you know, let me know what's going on. Love y'all. I love my community. I do. I really do. And I might not have been on as much. You know, things happen in people's lives sometimes. And they just got to stop sometime and do something else and look at something else. And, oh, Lord, look at all the basil I got. It don't make no sense to have all this much basil. I've got to make some money off it. <laughs> I, need to, I need to make some money. Excuse me. I need to make some money. But um, that is that for that. Oh. Y'all didn't understand how serious I was. Y'all didn't understand. I'll show you. Let me show you how serious I was. And I was this serious for a long time. Look at all these packs of seeds I got in this apartment. Look at this. Look, 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 look. I got more. I got more. I got a whole bunch more. I got a whole bunch of seeds. That Mexican jerky, that's what's over there. That's what's over there. And it's going wild. I don't know what to do with it. But I asked somebody that I believe knows what to do with it. So hopefully I will hear from them so they can tell me what I should be doing. Look, Dollar Tree. How long am I going to hold on to the tomato rockets? I don't know what to do with this. I can't do nothing in here with it. We'll, we'll try it. We'll see. I'm going I'm gonna replant a whole bunch of other other stuff, y'all. Well, thank you. Oh this is what happens when your grandbaby gets in your box. I don't know what's going on. There's more darn loose seeds in there in a little bit. Well, thank you y'all. 
I appreciate you. Have a peaceful and productive day. Don't let nobody steer you off your course to greatness. This stuff happened, we all know. But if you continue in the right direction, it'll all work out. Have a great evening.